YouTube Niner Empire, what is going down? Welcome back to another video. Happy game day. It's Sunday morning, or I guess Sunday afternoon now. Um, but we have some 49ers. We have a report floating out around Twitter regarding the 49ers. Um, and it actually has something to do with the 49ers move when they traded for Randy Gregory. Um, so this report says, when the 49ers called and inquired um, about Randy Gregory, while he worked the trade for Randy Gregory, John Lynch I'm talking about, while John Lynch worked the trade to get Randy Gregory, he asked about Patrick Sertan and George Payton, Den Denver's general manager, practically laughed and said no. <laughs> Obviously, we've kind of known, and I've, I've kind of thought this all along, a Patrick Sertan trade out of Denver would probably be highly unrealistic. Yeah, the Broncos are in a situation where... You know, they're not going to win a lot of games this year. That team's probably going to get blown up at the end of the year, or I guess it should get blown up. Patrick Sertan is probably the only player on the Denver Broncos team that I don't really see Denver moving on from. It's interesting that the 49ers called about Patrick Sertan and mentions, you know, mentioned something about it, but... I think a trade for Patrick Sertan for any team is pretty unlikely unless they just obviously get an offer they can't refuse or they can't, yeah, they just can't refuse. Um, but this kind of, this kind of means something, I guess, in a way for the 49ers. It seems like John Lynch and Adam Peters are working the phones. And, and here's another report that I seen on Twitter today. It says, source, he and Adam Peters, John Lynch, obviously is he, he and Adam Peters are working the phones. They are all in this year. It sounds like John Lynch is actively calling teams around the league and ga uh, gauging who is available before the October 31st NFL trade deadline. Um, so, Patrick Sertan, like I said, is probably a long shot to be traded to any team at this point in time. He's too good of a player. He's arguably the best cornerback in football. Unless the Broncos get an offer they simply can't refuse, Patrick Sertan is one of them players where I just don't see Denver moving, Denver having the guts to move on from him. Now, as far as that goes, there are a couple other players it's been reported on that the 49ers have called and inquired about, one being Jalen Johnson. There's also been rumblings about the 49ers calling the Washington Commanders about Chase Young. Um, Dante Jackson, cornerback for the Panthers, is a name that's also been thrown out there. Look, I've said this before the start of this season. Going into this year, I would, I am pretty confident, and I still am going to say this, and I'm sure a lot of 49ers fans out there could probably back me up and agree with me on this. This is by far the most complete team and the best team overall that Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch has had since taking the job in San Francisco. There, there's so many pieces to this team from top to bottom that you look at. I think it's obviously the 2019 team when we went on that Super Bowl run. That was a hell of a team as well. But in terms of from top to bottom, through in and through out, this is by far the best 49ers team under Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch. I think you look at the quarterback you know, position, to be completely honest at this point in time, I think Brock Purdy clearly is having a better season than Jimmy Garoppolo. That's no, that's no debate. I mean, the statistics show that. But I think Brock Purdy is going to be better for the 49ers than I think Jimmy Garoppolo ever was. And I the, Brock Purdy and Jimmy Garoppolo are similar quarterbacks. You know, they're they're traditional quarterbacks in an offense that's completely loaded and they're not asked to do much. But I think it's easy to say for me that I trust Brock Purdy more in this Kyle Shanahan offense than I think I ever trusted Jimmy Garoppolo. Um <laughs> I was really never that big of a fan of Jimmy Garoppolo. I always thought Jimmy Garoppolo was good enough. The consistency the consistency of play wasn't up to par for Jimmy Garoppolo, and I think that's kind of what came down to him just not working out in San Francisco. But I think Brock Purdy has played, clearly has played better than Jimmy Garoppolo. He's been able to stay healthy up until this point, knock on wood, not counting last year's NFC Championship injury. 
And then you look at the defense. The defense is absolutely loaded. You could talk about the defensive line with Drake Jackson and Javon Kinlaw and Eric Armstead and Nick Bosa and um, Hargrave and 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 now Randy Gregory, of course. I may have repeated a couple names there, but you guys get the point. The defense is absolutely loaded from top to bottom. The linebackers that the 49ers probably arguably have, in my opinion, and the best two linebackers in football, the best linebacker duo in football with Dre Greenlaw and Fred Warner. To Sean Gibson, hell of a safety. When the 49ers initially got to Sean Gibson, it was kind of one of those moves where you looked at that, you looked at that signing and you were like, it's one of them buffer positions. And what I mean by buffer position is it's like you bring into Sean Gibson for a year to two years until you find a permanent replacement for for Tashawn Gibson. Um, Tashawn Gibson has played out of his mind, though, over the over the past two seasons for the 49ers. And then, obviously, with Talanoa Hufanga was all pro last year. Guy flies around the field. Seemingly is the next Troy Polamalu. Those are big shoes to fill, but I definitely think Troy Polamalu's style of play is very, very similar to what Talanoa Hufanga is doing in the league right now. You look at the corners, Lenore's having a great season. Um, Trevarius Ward's having a great season. This team is loaded. And then obviously with Isaiah Oliver, the 49ers in the offseason um, snagged Isaiah Oliver, Isaiah Oliver from the Atlanta Falcons. That has been a good signing as well. I still think we're a little weak at nickel. That, but Dante Johnson or Dante Jackson, um, Carolina's cornerback, one of Carolina's cornerbacks, is a name that's been thrown out there to be uh, to be potentially traded. I would imagine a guy like Dante jo- Jackson would be another player that the 49ers could go and take a look at. I think they probably will take a look at him. He's a very productive player, still very young. The 49ers are going to load up this defense as much as they can. They feel as if this is their year. I think the fans probably think that too. At least I know I do. I think this is the best shot the 49ers have ever had at winning a Super Bowl. Why not go all out, load the team up, do everything you possibly can to can do to build your confidence going into the playoffs? Um there's no other reason why the 49ers wouldn't go all in this year. The team is there the pieces are there, the key pieces are there. Um, Everything seemingly has came together very well up until this point for the 49ers. And like I said, this is by far, in my opinion, the most complete team that the 49ers have had yet under Kyle and John. Um, So I definitely expect the 49ers to continue to be evolved, obviously, in the trade deadline or before the trade deadline. They are not finished whatsoever. Um, John Lynch will be actively calling teams up until the trade deadline. Chase Young's been a name thrown out there. I know Jalen Johnson is another name that's been thrown out there as a potential trade target for John Lynch. Jalen Johnson, Dante Jackson. I would expect the 49ers to definitely trade for a corner to kind of fill, to kind of help out the depth at that position. Um, Hopefully it's a guy like Jalen Johnson. Hopefully, I would be fine with Dante Jackson or Jalen Johnson. If I had to pick between the two, personally, I like Jalen Johnson a little more. I think he's a little more versatile than Dante Jackson. Um, They're both very physical corners. That's what Kyle and John like, um, are, are physical corners. But all in all, if the 49ers can go out and get a corner that, you know, is will help the depth out a little bit at that position. I think that's another move that the 49ers could do to just buff that defense up even more. And like I said, I don't think John Lynch and and company are done with with trade talks. I think they're going to be actively shopping. um, Not shopping, but actively targeting guys in the trade market. And I would expect at least one or two more trades for the 49ers before this trade deadline. It It only makes sense. Why not go out, screw the picks, Go out, do everything you can to win the Super Bowl this year. Like I said, best chances right now this season to win the Super Bowl the 49ers have had since probably 2012 under Jim Harbaugh. Um, 
it doesn't mean anything if you don't go out and finish. I've been a firm believer all season long as well in, in Super Bowl or bust season for the 49ers. You get to the Super Bowl or it's a bust of a season. To be honest, you could argue that if the 49ers get to a Super Bowl and lose it again, it's a bust of a season. Like I said, each season only gets harder. I, I watched the Kelsey documentary. Jason Kelsey mentioned that in the documentary. Every single year is completely different than the year before. Guys move around in free agency. Guys get traded. You have the NFL draft. You have injuries that can take place in the offseason or during the season. Each season is different. Right now with the 49ers, they are fairly healthy. Obviously, Trent, Debo banged up a little bit. will probably not play tomorrow, Monday night. But they're not long-term injuries. If this team can stay healthy, this team should win the Super Bowl. And I think... Going out and, and adding a few more key pieces to this team um, is probably what you do. I think that's probably, I think that's what John Lynch and Adam Peters are going to do, hence to why they are working the phones. I think they know and they feel as if this team can go out and win it this year without a doubt. And I think you get one or two more key pieces to help out depth-wise before the trade deadline our chances get even better. But again, it doesn't mean anything if the 49ers team doesn't stay healthy. They have to stay healthy. Um, they have to win games that matter the most. Um, and I obviously we know that the 49ers will be in the playoffs, but I'm talking about when you get into the playoffs, you know, in January and whatnot, you got you to gotta take it one game at a time. This team knows that. This team is experienced deep into the playoffs. They know how to win playoff games. They know what it takes. Um, so there's really no concern there. But think the biggest thing is you have to stay healthy but like I said John Lynch Adam Peters actively working the phones I would expect at least one to two more trades this this year before the trade deadline on October 31st so we we have what nine days until the trade deadline so again it's only right for John Lynch to go out there and add a few more key pieces this is the best shot we've ever had